Tweets, blogs, and commentary about politics may litter the internet, but when it comes to criticism, is everything fair in that public square? One BC woman says she's uncovered a nasty pattern. The CBC's Chris Brown has that story. So you've made it to one of the top political jobs in Canada. Hello. And at your very first news conference, you get asked about your love so of pantsuits. That's probably, as you say, not a question that you would be asking a man where he's standing in this position. That time, it was meant as a joke, but a lot of what's aimed at Canada's female premiers, especially online, is anything but funny. There is a shocking amount of nasty sexism on the internet towards female premiers in Canada. Political communications consultant Diamond Isinger, who's done work for the BC Liberals, says she was so struck by the vulgar, crude and sexist things she was seeing about Canada's female premiers, she decided to track the comments. Now, are you going to have time to uh, get into a relationship? Are you asking me on a date? <laughs> Stuff about BC's Christy Clark takes up a lot of pages on its own. Who can forget this tweet by billionaire Richard Branson suggesting he and the Premier should get naked and go kite surfing? Or this one by former MLA David Shrek who suggested Clark's cleavage was too revealing. The headline for the TV story about the ensuing outrage got panned too. So I think it's very important to focus on this and see this kind of nastiness online as a major barrier to women getting involved. Of course, male politicians get dumped on as well, and social media is full of morons saying stupid things. But this gender researcher says the key difference is with men, those comments usually aren't sexual in nature. This isn't just about one individual politician, you know, well, oh, maybe it's because this politician is this way. No, it's something that is pervasive across the culture and it's aimed at women. Women. I do see it though when I, you know, when I open my Twitter account. Clark has at times been both serious and playful when faced with sexual comments. Today she took the high road. And we do need to have a conversation about the way women now are, you know, the way women are treated in the workplace. One group that promotes women in politics told us, in spite of what this blog turned up, more women are deciding to run for office. And in fact, Six Canadian women now lead provinces or territories, the most ever. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.